Except this video showing boys playing on girls' teams is anything but fair. It's dangerous. This isn't about the suspected transgender kid. It really isn't. We should all have compassion for anybody who's going through such a difficult and confusing time as a teenager. So just put him or her or however they would like to be identified aside for a second. This is about all the other girls on the court. They also deserve fairness. There's nothing fair about playing against people born of the opposite sex who are twice one size. There's nothing fair about getting beat up on a basketball court where the referees live in fear of trans activists. There's nothing fair about a school where the coaches do the right thing only for the administrators to both sides their statement. Sylvia Hatchell is with us, former head basketball coach for the University of North Carolina Lady Tar Heels, the fifth most career wins in women's college basketball history. In an odd way, are you happy of all the issues that you had to deal with that this wasn't one of them? Yes, I am. And I would like to uh, pat the coach on the back yeah. for uh, taking his team uh, off uh, and, and taking a stand because you know, playing against transgenders, it's not fair and it's not equal. It's not a level playing field. So uh, the females should not have to play against transgenders. Uh, we're going to get to sort of the, the issues of where this is going in society in a minute. But one thing that's sort of bothered me from the beginning about this, especially when it's a, a physical sport, uh, that there's so clearly a difference, right? Average male player, six feet. Wingspan, 5'6", vertical jump, 28 inches. Average women's players, 5'6", I think this is in high school, 5'2", um, and a 20-inch wingspan. There is no comparison here. And obviously, we can see the video. This individual we're talking about is over 6 feet tall, um, clearly physically very different. Do you have any idea why young men want to compete against young girls? I don't get it. Well, maybe they can't be successful playing against guys. And so, you know, they play against women, just like the swimmer did uh, against Brittany Gaines, you know. Uh, so I, I don't know, but it's, it's just not yeah. fair and equal. You know, in 72, I was a sophomore in college when Title IX was passed. Title IX was passed to make things fair and equal for females. And having to play against transgenders is not fair and it's not equal. If you just made this point, if you're 6'5", you're 6'5". I don't care if you've had an operation or you're taking hormones or what. You're still 6'5". And the wingspan, I mean, it's just its just not fair and so, it's not equal. It, it's really, it, it's disappointing that we're actually having to go through this and debate this. So, uh, but, yeah. but I... It, it, it does I, sometimes feel like you're arguing against the win when you're sort of saying what you're saying, which is this not fair. And look, in the case of Leah Thomas, the swimmer who you're talking about, Right. There's no there's no chance of people getting hurt, right? It's not fair, perhaps, that uh, someone can, you know, some young man or some man beats beats a woman's swimmer um, and takes away what is rightfully their honor of being uh, the fastest swimmer or something. But in this case, you actually are dealing with kids getting injured. Um, You've seen a lot of changes in sports. And obviously, when Title IX was passed, it was extraordinarily controversial. Where do you see this going now? What has to happen, you think, for this to, to actually change? Well, a lot of states have already made rulings, but it's probably going yeah. to end up in the support. You know, uh, I mean, I, I would see that it going there. But you know, you're just talking about why would a, a transgender want to play, a male transgender want to play against females? Well, maybe he's not that successful playing against men, and you know he can feed his ego and be successful yeah. uh, playing against females. So, but again, you know, it, it's you, you, your in, the injuries are there, and then also the opportunities for other women to be on that court right. and be playing, you know, when when the transgender is out there. But it, it's just. Uh, I mean, it's just crazy because it's, it's not a level playing field on lots of, of, of levels. Yeah. It's interesting, actually, the polling on this has started to move, even among Democrats, uh, because it is a political issue now. Um, but there, there is a growing group, uh, significantly growing group of people who are, who are agreeing with you. Coach, it was great having you. Thank you. Um, we're, we're better for having heard your perspective on this. We appreciate it. Thank you. I've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. 
And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.